Hey everybody. So we saw Rise of Skywalker Thursday night. Um, we loved it. Uh, we, we loved everything about it. <laughs> we thought it was fantastic. Um, it's action packed. My son even said it had a lot of action, was not boring. Um, these are, these are the, some of the things that he told me that, that he liked about it. Um, he felt the stormtroopers were not dumb. Um, that they were, I guess that means that they were smarter than usual. Um, uh, and I don't want to, I don't want to get into any spoilers yet. So I'll save some of what he said for a little, for in a little bit, lots of action. Um, and he said, this isn't a spoiler because we saw, we saw it in, um, in one of the trailers, he would have liked to have seen more of the uh, dark slash evil Ray than, than what we did see. Um, which really, I mean, he, he thought, he thinks Evil Ray is cool. Um, maybe there'll be, maybe, maybe there'll be some fan fiction. Maybe they'll have a comic offshoot. Who knows? Maybe that could be, um, cause I know at one point, in, at some point in the past, uh, several years ago, they had, uh, I don't remember what the series was, but it was basically alternate universe things, um, that, that happened. Uh, they had a series of comics that dealt with what if. Um, so maybe they can do something like that and uh, maybe he'll enjoy reading about that. Anyway, so yeah, we, we love the movie. Um, I would give it, I think I would give it um, four or five stars. Let's four and a half stars. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I didn't really have any problems with it. I went in, I had certain expectations. Um, again, these, these aren't spoilers. I'm just telling you what I wanted to see. I wanted to see, um, I didn't, well, I didn't want to see Rey um, killing Kylo Ren. That's what I did not want to see. I didn't want to see, uh, I didn't, I didn't want to see the Star Wars universe get smaller. And by that, I mean where everyone, all the characters that we see are somehow related to each other. I didn't want to see that. Um, what else did I not? Those might be the only two things that I didn't want to see, that I, that I wanted to see. I really... I just went into it expecting to have a good time and to be entertained, just to have a lot of fun. I was not disappointed. This movie had action from the beginning all the way to the end. Now, obviously it wasn't just action scenes throughout. Um, there were, I would not call them slower parts, but there were time, you know, they had, you know, action. They had action at the beginning and then you get your, you get your downtime uh, and then more action and then some more downtime and then more action again. So that when I say it had, it slowed, it was, it slowed down. That's what I mean. I don't mean that there was parts that were slow where I was like, look at my watch waiting for, you know, when's the next thing to happen. Nothing like that. This movie was great. Um, I, I am a fan of, I've been a Star Wars fan since probably the eighties. Um, the only movie I remember seeing in the theaters was Return of the Jedi, but I've loved all of them ever since I can remember. Um, so some of the things that happened in this movie brought back a lot of that nostalgia. And I, I cried at least three times um, out of the sheer joy of what I was seeing on screen. I decided, you know, cause there was times, um, there was some scenes in the, um, in the final trailer that uh, like when 3PO tells them, I'm just, I'm giving one last look at my friends. Um, that really, that was a tearjerker. Um, now I had already had the tearjerker when I saw the trailer, so it didn't have the same effect in the movie, but there were other scenes, other parts of the movie that, and I decided when, um, before the, the main theme started, before Star Wars came on the screen, I decided I'm just gonna let go. I'm not gonna try to hold anything back. And yeah, there were several scenes that had a real big emotional pull for me. Um, so I, yeah, I, I easily cried at least three times, probably close to five times at just um, out of joy. There was maybe one time that I cried out of sadness, um, but it was quickly replaced with, um, with relief. <laughs> um, so I think I've said enough. Let's get into some spoilers now. So if you don't want to hear spoilers, 
um, then go ahead and turn the video off. Um, go ahead and you can, uh, I don't have any spoilers in the vlog I posted, so go ahead and watch that. Um, or just go watch Rise of Skywalker so that you can sit, sit here for the spoilers as well. Because <laughs> it's a really good movie and it's out now. <laughs> so let's get into it. The parts of the, I'm just going to talk about the parts. I don't really want to do a summary of the movie because the video will be way too long. I want to just talk about some parts that I really liked. So parts that I really liked in the beginning of the movie, um, we, we finally get to see um, the Knights of Ren. Uh, and you see Kylo and the Knights of Ren, they're just like rampaging across the galaxy. Um, and I guess I can talk about some of the reasons why. Um, prior to the, the events of the movie, the First Order has found out that the Emperor is still alive. Kylo Ren sees the Emperor as a threat to his power, so he's rampaging across the galaxy trying to find the Emperor so that he can destroy him and be the, um, the Supreme Leader. Because Kylo Ren, you know, he just wants all the power. So, and uh, he does find the Emperor. But let's just move on from there. Um, next scene that I really liked, there's a scene of Rey. She's hovering in the air. At first I didn't, didn't realize it, but she's hovering in the air. She's using the Force, hovering in the air, sitting, I think she's sitting cross-legged. There's rocks that are doing kind of a, they look like they're doing kind of an atom. Um, as in as an atomic bomb, but l like like she's at the center and they are rotating around her, um, and it's super cool. Um, I just it reminded me of a of a scene in a Jedi Academy trilogy when Luke is um, he's at the Jedi Academy on Yavin. He's on the top of a pyramid of one of the pyramids, and he just kind of floats off and then floats down. It reminded me of of that, and I just thought it was super cool. And she's trying to communicate with. Um, Jedi that have come before her. I think that's what she was trying to do, and uh, she just she can't she can't hear them. So she and it's at it's at the point that she can't hear them. And I I'm thinking to myself, oh, she's broken her con her concentration. I thought for sure she was gonna fall, like Luke fell um, in Empire Strikes Back when Yoda was training him. Except she doesn't fall. She they have this moment where she kind of breaks her concentration, but. It's really just, she doesn't really break her concentration. She just kind of comes out of it and she's like, I can't hear them. The rocks, I believe she lets the rocks fall or, or sets them down, but she does this like really graceful flip. And I think it's in one of the trailers. She does this really graceful flip and just kind of lands on her feet. And it was just like, whoa, that was awesome. <laughs> um, Let's see, some other parts that I really liked. Um, actually, oh yeah, there's a, it's a, it's a, it's a liked it and didn't like it. Um, <laughs> but there's a part in the movie where, um, where Chewie has been captured and uh, uh, he gets put on a transport and Finn, it's, it's right after um, um, Ray has sliced through um, Kylo Ren's starship and um, she's just standing there um, watching um, Kylo Ren come toward her. Finn yells over to her, Ray, they got Chewie and he points to, the, to this transport that's lifting off. She reaches out with the force and she stops it. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, we're finally seeing a Jedi really use the force in like a super powerful way. Um, she stops it. But then Kylo Ren sees it and he's trying to push it away. Um, they go back and forth for a little bit. They're each using more and more force power until Rey actually manifests lightning from her hand. Um, and, it's, and she destroys the, the transport. And then she like freaks. And it's just like, she's like, she screams out, Chewie! And I'm just, I'm just like, oh my God, she killed Chewie. And I'm just like, oh, oh my, oh my God. I think, I think I might have cried because it was just like, no, <laughs> not Chewie. You know, Chewie doesn't need to die. Chewie can live like you know, hundreds of years. Um, but, um, and then she looks down at her hand. That's the part in the trailer that we see in the trailer where she looks down at her hand. I thought from the trailer that it was a part where Kylo Ren like pulled the lights around her hand. 
Nope, she's looking at her hand in shock because she just manifested lightning. And by the way, no, Chewie doesn't die. <laughs> we find out a few scenes later that Chewie, had, Chewie didn't die. Um, what else? Um, I tweeted this out last night. Ben Solo redeemed. <laughs> Ray doesn't kill him, so I was happy about that. He does sacrifice himself. Um, I don't want to like completely spoil the movie. Go see it. It's it happens at the end. Um, he, in my opinion, he experiences true love. Um, Ray and Ben, they have a moment. They embrace. They kiss. Ben is redeemed. Not because of the kiss, but Ben is redeemed. Um, and there's a moment before that. Uh, in fact, my, my son, this, all, this is where I'll get into some spoilers, um, where my son says the, the connection between Ray and at first Kylo Ren, but then Ray and Ben, um, he really liked that. They, they push that like as far as they can in this movie. In, in The Last Jedi, we saw them communicating with the Force and that was kind of neat and all because they could see each other and they could talk to each other and they do that. But in Rise of Skywalker, they, they push that boundary where they're communicating with each other and then Kylo Ren, he reaches out, Ray is wearing a necklace, he reaches out and he grabs it through the Force and then he takes it off of her neck um, and they're able to figure out where they are based on the necklace. Um, he does it again later in the movie. The, the lightsaber fight that we see in the white room, that's actually his quarters on the Star Destroyer. Um, he's not in that room. She's in that room and he's on the planet below. They are fighting, they're having a lightsaber battle through the force and then they accidentally destroy the pedestal. That's again, that's from the trailer where, the, where Darth Vader's mask is. And that's when he sees the mask fall to the ground and realizes She's in my quarters. So my son liked those parts. I liked all, I mean, you forget, at least I did, you completely forget that he's not on the ship, that he's on the surface. They were just there. They saw the Knights of Ren. They saw all these stormtroopers. So they got out of there. Um, again, not to get too into the weeds on it, but they got out of there. They got up to the Star Destroyer. It's explained in the movie. <laughs> Go see the movie. <laughs> it is explained. They don't just magically get to the Star Destroyer. Um, and they're fighting um, through the Force. Uh, and then it happens one last time. This is when, this is after he's come back. He's Ben Solo again. Um, Ray basically hands him a, a lightsaber through the Force. Um, and it's, I thought it was fantastic. Um, it's it really they really push the boundaries of what the force can do. Ray heals this lizard thing with the force. She heals um, she heals in fact she heals Kylo Ren at one point, um, which I thought for sure that they were and, and it would have been um, it would have been okay the way they did it. I didn't want to see like I said I didn't want to see her kill him. Um, the way if, if she had the way they were showing it wouldn't wouldn't really have bothered. I mean, they're having a, a massive lightsaber fight, um, parts of which are in the trailer, and then she stabs him. And in fact, somebody in the in the audience at the theater we were at was like, yeah! <laughs> and I was like, <gasps> and then I thought to myself, uh, oh, uh, okay, I guess, um, yeah, uh, that was kind of, I guess she didn't really have a choice. Um, but then she heals him. Then she heals him. And uh, in fact, I think that's the first point, the first time that he has felt love in a long time. Um, the next time is at the end of the movie. Again, I don't want to, again, I know this is spoilers, but I don't want to give too much away. There is a point in the early, early on in the movie where Poe is, I think they call it hyperspace skipping, where he's jumping in and out of light speed. Um, they did this. I think they did. They they referenced it in the Force Awakens. The first time I ever that I ever saw it was in the comics, where you could actually jump to light speed through something if you did it if you did it right. And I think they showed us this in the Force Awakens. But yeah, the last hyperspeed jump that he makes is through 
um, this lizard thing, this space lizard's mouth, and all these TIE fighters crash into the mouth, and they just jump to light speed and managed to go through it. So I thought that was kind of neat because he, well, and then later you find out that he wasn't supposed to be doing that, not because he doesn't know how, but because the, the Falcon has damaged engines and, and it wasn't even supposed to be able to do it. <laughs> so you have a bit of comic relief with, with, their, with their banter after all that happened. Um, I'm trying to think of, I mean, I just, there's so many scenes in the movie that I liked. Um, that it's just really hard for me to pick, pick just one. Um, so that's why I'm just talking about all these things. Um, but I could talk about this all night. Um, I don't think, oh, there's, there's, mm, there's one thing I didn't like. Well, it's not that I didn't like it. It's, I went into the movie hoping that they wouldn't shrink the Star Wars galaxy down. And I'm not sure if I talked about this at the beginning. I may have. They, they did do that, but I like the way they did it. I don't really want to give this away in this review because it's, it's a massive spoiler. I mean, I, I know this is spoilers, but it's a massive one. I really think if, if you want to know what it is, you should go see the movie. Let me put it this way. If you absolutely don't want Ray to be related to anyone, because I thought it was great that she wasn't, wasn't related to anyone, but this didn't ruin it for me. If you absolutely believe that Rey should not be related to anyone in the Star Wars galaxy, don't see Rise of Skywalker. If you think she should be related to someone, go see Rise of Skywalker. If you're going to get mad because she's related to somebody who's bad, don't go see Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> I, again, I, this is a huge spoiler. <laughs> and I feel that if you know it before you go see the movie, it will ruin it, will ruin it for you. That's why I don't want to say anything. Um, let's, uh, I can put it this way, with, with a bit of spoilers. Luke tells Rey at some point, family isn't about blood. Our family is more, more than about blood. Uh, he doesn't say family is about um, the people you love and care for. He just says family isn't always about blood. Um, so, so there. And if you want to know, I'm sure you can find the, that spoiler um, in many other reviews. I don't want to go there. Not in this one. If you want me to, post in the comments below. If you want to just hear all of it, Post in the comments below. I'll post another video with all kinds of spoilers and I'll just do like, I'll just talk about the movie all night long. I'll do like a summary. I'll do multiple videos. We'll, you know, we'll take it in, you know, 10 or 15 minute chunks. Um, Cause I can certainly do that. Um, but I think that's all I've got for now. Uh, like I said, there's a whole lot I liked about the movie, but I think I, I hit the main things that I really liked. I don't think this is a huge spoiler. Leia does die in this movie. Uh, I think everyone expected that to happen. So, and I think they handled it well. Um, so yeah, that's, that's all I got. If, if you've seen the movie and you want to add anything, um, again, this is going to be titled Spoilers. So feel free to comment below any spoilers that you want to, um, that you want to talk about and if you want me to talk about any. Uh, anybody who's watching this, I suggest that if you don't want to read spoilers, don't read the comments. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you uh, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can get notified of, notified of future videos. Uh, and we'll see you in the next one.